After the events of Chapter 2 with the annual Valkyrie examination, Kiana, May, and Bronya finally get to go on their new mission. And the mission is to find the Gem of Desire in the New Zealand branch of the Shiksa organization. Now apparently at the Oceania branch of the Shiksa in New Zealand, they got wrecked the day before because of a bunch of infestation with Honkai beasts. And amidst all this, the Gem of Desire disappears. But the bigger question is, what is this Gem of Desire? According to Himeko, the Shiksa apparently got a hold of these three powerful Honkai gems 16 years ago. And after the second eruption, when Shikso finds these four gems, anti-entropy shows up and Shikso ends up lying to them saying they only found one gem instead of the four, which allowed them to keep the three for themselves and only one to anti-entropy. Now, as for where these gems ultimately ended up, we don't know too much of it yet in the story at this point, but now we are just dealing with the gem of desire. Now, three years prior to the current event of the game, which would make it 2013 at the time, the Shikso tries to use the Gem of Desire to create a weapon to go against the Hersher, which ultimately ends up failing. And so ever since their failure, the gem was being kept at the Oceania branch in New Zealand. The girls eventually does end up getting to New Zealand, but as it turns out, when they actually located the gem, they only found a girl named Wendy and not the gem. Apparently, the Gem of Desire was implanted into Wendy's legs and it caused Wendy to lose the ability to walk. And the reason why they chose Wendy to begin with was because she was supposed to be the next S-ranked Valkyrie at the time, but she couldn't handle the gem's power, ultimately losing control of her legs, putting her in the situation that she is now. Now obviously the girls are very upset at the Shiksaw, but for now they try to get Wendy back to the Hyperion just to ensure her safety. But unfortunately, when Bronya asks Himeko about removing the gem from Wendy's leg, Himeko says that it's not possible because the gem itself will become too unstable and once again the girls are obviously feeling frustrated for wendy though she says she's okay until out of nowhere wendy begins to release her honkai energy for some reason allowing the gem to corrupt her wendy obviously felt like she was being betrayed and she's being manipulated at this point wendy becomes extremely powerful and the girls tries to fight her just to try to calm her down but eventually wendy does escape during the battle and flies away Way. Witnessing what just happened, Himeko makes a report to Shikso, and they decide to dispatch an s rank Valkyrie to capture Wendy. Watching this unfold, Bronya still believes in Wendy that she would not hurt anyone, but Himeko doesn't want to take any risks, putting her students in danger. But even Kiana butts in, suggesting that Wendy might be able to resist the Honkai corruption, just like how Mei did back in Nagazora. So hearing the plea of the girls, Himeko decides to tell them they have 30 minutes until the Shikso s rank Valkyries arrive, and that they should try to find Wendy during this time period. Now at this point, the story progresses where the girls are trying to find Wendy, but now there's more bad news because Shiksaw just labeled Wendy as the fourth Hersher. Not to mention the s rank Valkyrie that they are dispatching for Wendy is actually Turanda, who is one of the strongest s rank Valkyrie at the time. And to make matters even worse, for some reason, anti-entropy battleships started approaching their location as well. So within this chaos, the girls are trying to find Wendy, but it becomes very clear that they're slowly running out of time. Then comes Teresa with the brilliant idea to help the girls. And so with the help of Teresa, the girls eventually do manage to find Wendy, trying to persuade her to come back with them to St. Freya High School. Now seeing that Wendy's very frustrated and under a lot of mental pain, Bronya begins to comfort Wendy, talking about her experiences yet again. Bronya begins to talk about Tere, a strong and kind girl that was similar to Wendy. And just like Wendy, Tere was corrupted by the Honkai as well, but she was able to fight and get herself back. And with this talk, she decides to give it another shot. But this is when the crazy shenanigan happens with Kokolia, a mysterious voice that begins commanding Bronya to capture Wendy. Bronya obviously refuses, but for some reason, she begins to get controlled by Kokolia, who tells her to attack and stall Wendy until her main forces arrive. So unable to resist, Bronya begins her attack, surprising all the girls. And unfortunately for Wendy, she becomes upset yet again because it seems like everybody is trying to take advantage of her and they lie to her and there's even a bigger level of distrust at this point. And so feeling betrayed by the girls, Wendy goes on a yet another crazy rampage and begins her fight. So at this point, Kiana and Mei are 
basically stuck between a rock and a hard place. On one hand, they're trying to put some sense into Wendy. On the other hand, there's Bronya who is attacking indiscriminately. And as the fight drags on, eventually Kokolia arrives to the scene, using her hidden mechs to capture Wendy after her being already exhausted from the fight against the girls. Then Kokolia commands Bronya again to capture the other Hersher. May and just like everybody else May is of course exhausted so Bronya knocks out May and captures her and she just cannot say no and as Bronya attempts to also capture Kiana Himeko and the Sheiks of finally arrives making Kokolia and anti-entropy to retreat for the time being so that is chapter 3. Now obviously chapter 3 is the first portion of the two parts of Wendy's story arc. As far as what's going to happen with the girls and why Kokolia is doing all this thing. We'll find out in the next chapter. But within this chapter, I found a few things that were very interesting or I thought was pretty cool. So whenever Wendy was going through her internal struggle with her emotions and feelings, on the digital screen, or I, sh I should say the portrait of Wendy, it keeps going back and forth between her regular self and her corrupted self. Now, obviously, this is not something that's mind-blowing or crazy, but this chapter being released such a long time ago, they used something like this to portray her conflicting emotions, I thought was pretty interesting. I thought it was pretty cool. Now, as for Bronya, we get a little bit more of her backstory regarding her experiments and Sede, and now why she is being controlled. We have a better answer. In chapter one, at the end of chapter one, she was also seemingly being controlled by something, and now it's happening again. And obviously, this is likely due to Kokolia. Now, speaking of Kokolia, why is it that she's collecting these gems? Why is it that she is capturing the Hershers like Mei and Wendy? As far as her motives and her goals, we'll eventually find out in the future chapters of this story. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought and I'll see you guys in the next chapter. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.